a section of the West which is covered. Posters made up. Welcome to Northern Ireland. We're going to be showing you guys our Game of Thrones tour experience on this vlog. So hopefully you guys are fans and if you're not, it's watch this video <laughs> and then get motivation to watch the show. You have to. Yeah, it's a must. Most popular show in the world for a reason. We are at our first stop. It took about maybe 30 minutes to get here. Um, we are at the Dark Hedges, which is a filming location from the show. I believe it's like season two maybe. If you've seen the show, it's when Arya is heading, I think, on the King's Road. You'll see it. And we'll put a picture so you guys can like get, um, what's it called? Like A reference to yeah, the actual reference. show. <laughs> the bus ride here was so nice. Like literally looking out of the window, it's super green, so many sheep. The houses are beautiful. And now that we're here, it's super quiet. Like we drove maybe like 30, 35 minutes out of the city. And it's like, you could hear a pin drop. It's really nice. It's like super peaceful and like we're right in nature. Just literally. birds, I can hear like an owl. Yep, let's go. Let's go. These trees are also like really old, over I think like 250 years old. So every year with like the strong um, storms, some of the trees fall. So eventually this little dark hedges will no longer be here. And then in those storms, two of the actually like more famous trees fell and got ruined. And then they made them into doors, 10 doors, one for each episode of season six. And actually the bar or the pub that we are going to later has one of the doors. So we'll show you guys that. Yo, this area is super pretty, super green and nice. We were only here maybe for like 10 minutes. Yeah, the tour kind of like gets here. You walk maybe like five, six minutes to the actual hedges. You take like 10 minutes taking pictures, kind of like taking it all in, enjoying it. And then you walk back to the bus, which is what we're doing right now. And the tour keeps going. Awesome. We're on our next stop of the tour and oh my god guys, what a view. It has nothing to do with Game of Thrones. It's just kind of like for pictures and sightseeing, but it's beautiful. Yes, it's called Dunluz or Dunless Castle. Dunluz or Dunless Castle. Um, the castle's on one side and then on the other side you get like all the green, beautiful view of the coastline as well. So we're going to show you guys that and then it's just perfect like for pictures, literally. So if you're wondering where I got this cool little hat, make sure to check out our last video where we visited the Titanic Museum in Belfast. An amazing experience if you're a fan of the movie or just the ship in general. Super cool, so check that out. Also, I might just have a different hairstyle in every clip, fair warning. <laughs> We're on to our next activity. We're at this place called Giant's Causeway, and I think we're just gonna explore around take pictures and enjoy the view. Watch. So we get to roam around here for about an hour and a half. They have a nice little gift shop. They have some like informative stuff. And then we get to actually see Giant's Causeway, which I'll talk more about it once we get there. I've never seen it, so it'll be really cool to see, but we're just wandering around in the shop for now. And all the things are super cute. They have like candles, some souvenirs, obviously, clothes, Christmas stuff really cute stuff and then we got an audio guide as well there's a few different trails to get to the like the actual site so we're heading up a blue trail which will take us up above some like mountains so you get a nice little view and then we slowly go down onto the actual like site and then we come back through a red route which is a bit easier and kind of like more flatland they also have like trams and shuttles that will take you but we don't have any spare change I don't know if they use like contactless pay, so we're gonna be walking.
Now we have to walk down these stairs and head back. We kind of rode to the top of the hill all this way and now we're gonna head back through the bottom. But the steps look kind of sketchy and slippery so hopefully we make it back. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to wear all white. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, it's all muddy. <laughs> Guys, look at the view. Oh my god. That is where we're headed. So we still have to walk all down there, all of this, and over there. Catch you over there. Made it to the stones. They're right behind me, but we're actually gonna walk that way and try to go like up them. So let's go. I'm literally the only one wearing all white. I had no idea that a hike was included on our tour today, so I wore white. Um, I'm still clean, surprisingly. Nothing is stained, but hopefully I don't jinx myself. So Giants Causeway, it's a UNESCO heritage site. So it's definitely something like magnificent of this world that you have to see. Sorry, I'm like climbing down and trying not to die. Second. Okay. But yeah, I guess these steps were made by lava that slowly like receded back into the water. So it left all these like different size stones. And it looks really cool. I can't imagine being here in the rain. Like it's slippery enough because I'm sure the tide goes in and out. But we have such a beautiful day that we're even lucky. This is probably like as good conditions as it can get out here. So if you're wondering how this like little special design of rocks came to be, just think of mud drying up, how it makes like little squares. It was the same thing but with lava. So when lava cooled, it shrunk and then cracked into special little cubes. And that's why this is such a cool site. We're all done with Giant's Causeway. It was honestly super cool, super cool uh, sightseeing and the little hike and walk was really cool, especially when we got like really close to the water and we got to walk on those super slippery rocks. That was dangerous, so if you do come, watch out for that. Not much to do, I don't think, with Game of Thrones. I think it was more like a sightseeing um, little stop, but we're heading back to the bus now because the tour keeps going and we have to meet there at 1.15. It's almost time. Karen's at the gift shop, so she might buy something. She might come back with a little souvenir, but I'm going in the bus now. Low-key, that was a pretty arduous hike. It was hard. No, it wasn't that hard, but it was, it was long. I'm happy to be in the bus. And we have like the back four rows to ourselves, so we can really stretch out. We're gonna have a very Game of Thrones themed lunch. The Iron Throne is in there, and then they have those doors I was talking about earlier. So. Just like in uh, the Game of Thrones, we're gonna have a veggie burger, the one Arya <laughs> had in season three. This is the door that they made out of one of the trees that fell at Dark Hedges. Super cool, from season six, episode six. So cool. It's another room in the same pub that we're in, but here is the Iron Throne replica. A little bit can sit down. Oh, well, we need to rest after hiking these mountains. <laughs> this is so cool. They have all the banners. More wine. Chill. Also, they include these cool little props and like a little veil for cloak. pictures. Oh yeah, a cloak, <laughs> a veil, a cloak for pictures. But look how cool these are, and this is like Jon Snow's white claw. I think he's called like ice or something. Here, let me let me give you guys a full perspective. Yeah, I'm the neat, I'm the neat king of double swords. Back in the bus, lunch was really good. Guys, he fell. <laughs> yeah, when I was getting up from the iron throne with both of the swords, I got like I fell back, 
and I was like, that's like a sign that I'm so meant to just sit on the throne. No, it was funny because it made a loud sound. And I was like, oh my god. He's like, like I, hit I look the back. back and he's like, I fell. <laughs> it was just funny. Breaks the iron throne after 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm breaking the wheel. Our next stop is a viewpoint of a very famous rope bridge here in Northern Ireland. Apparently it gets over like 400,000 people a year, but right now it's closed to charter buses, which is what we have right now. It's like a company that takes you along. But they do bring us to this like little hilltop and we have a good sight of the bridge. We get to see it, take pictures. So that's what we're doing, exploring, enjoying. While we explore this little area, we're going to use this time to show you guys some of the best pictures we've taken so far in this little tour. And now we're back to the bus. Let's go. The tour keeps going. We have another Game of Thrones stop. This time it is um, for Arya Stark when she is climbing out of the water after she's been stabbed in Bravos. Here it is. I can still kind of see her. <laughs> We're on to our next stop of the tour. This really cool looking castle. We're only here for 15 minutes, so we're just gonna wander around, maybe take some pictures and just take in the scenery. At some of these stops, we're only stopping just for 15 minutes because the tour guide said we're trying to beat sunlight. So we're kind of moving kind of fast to get the tour done before it gets dark because then you can't really enjoy the scenery or like, you know, enjoy enjoy the country and everything. But yeah, this castle is pretty cool. It's pretty big. Apparently it's still working, with little castle. And look at the view of the ocean that it has. We just got back from dinner and it's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. We had a blast here in Belfast, we loved it. If you haven't watched our last video, which was our first full day here in Belfast, go ahead and watch that. And then if you like this one, go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.